Transcription Week is a crowdsourcing initiative where we're looking to get people to join us, go online, read these uh, scanned handwritten documents and transcribe them, basically type out what they see. This current project is focusing on sets of handwritten minutes from the Wild Streets Commissioners and also from Dublin Corporation. And that all goes towards artificial intelligence learning, really machine learning, where we're sort of training the systems to recognise the handwriting. So not only are we transcribing these particular records, but the system learns to, to recognise the handwriting. And so when we ingest future records, the system will be better able to interpret that automatically. It's important to make historical sources open and available to researchers and members of the public for a very basic reason, which is that if we don't make them available, we are at risk of being lied to about what's in them. And researchers come to these sources all the time asking new questions and questions that we didn't envisage in the past before or things that we might not have thought were important. And the more available they are to people, the more questions will be asked because we all come with our own personal experience as well and say, well, I'm like this. Was there someone in the past who was like that? Um, and so the more available that we make the sources, the more we will actually get out of the sources themselves and the more they'll tell us. Dublin in the mid 18th century would have been largely unrecognisable for many of us today. In many ways you're going to get um, an, an insight into the minds of a series of very influential people that governed the and shaped the development of the city in the mid-18th century. You know, if you have any interest in history, coming across Daniel O'Connell's signature will give you kind of a jolt of excitement to see that it's there. We learn about the famine and everything, but to see a letter to Queen Victoria, you know, talking about the famine in these big old volumes, it just makes it more real, it makes history come to life.